Hello friends, welcome to channel Teach Me Technically. What we are going to learn in this playlist is we are going to study computer architecture and the processor what we are going to study is MIPS. For all those who have not yet subscribed to our channel Teach Me Technically, subscribe it now. So let's start. So basically we are going to discuss ITEP instruction in MIPS. So this is the format of ITEP instruction that first of all we have opcode, then a source register RS, another source register RT and then we have a 16 bit offset. We do not have a destination register RD. Okay. For our opcode we have 6 bits reserved, then we have 5 bits for our source register RS. Then next 5 bits are for our another source register which is RT and then we have 16 bit offset. Okay, so we have 16 bits reserved for our address or offset. So there are two commands which actually implements I type instructions or follow in the I type instruction. So number one is load word and number two is store word. So whenever we need to store value in our memory, we use store word. And whenever we want value from our memory to our register, we actually use the command known as load word. So both load word and stored word actually falls in I type instruction. So basically for data transfer, I type instructions are used. Number one is load word and number two is stored word. And this is the syntax for load word and stored word. So basically what load word do is it just go to the memory and fetch a value and then save that value in our register. Okay, so basically the very first register which is used in load word and stored word command is RT register and the second register which is load in load word and stored word command is RS register. So what actually this load word and stored word command actually means? This load word command S1, 100 and S2 actually means that we have add 100 with the value stored in register S2 and go to that memory location and then take out the value which is saved at that memory location and place it in the register S1. So basically this is written right here. We have to add the value of S2 register with 100 and then go to that memory location and then fetch the value that is stored at that particular memory location and then store that value in the register S1. Okay. And in case of store word, what we actually do is this is RT register and this is RS register. We actually add the value of register S2 and 100 and then go into the memory and then save the value of register S1 into that particular memory location. So now we have not to confuse with the structure of I type instruction and the structure of the command. I have said that in I type instruction, first of all, we have awkward then RS then RT. And while writing command, the first register is RT and the second register is RS. So basically what we do is these are two different concepts. So what we need to do is we have to check uh, the register number of T0 and it was 8. I just convert that 8 into binary. So now I just know that the first register is RT register. So I will just place the binary at the place where the binary of RT register is to be placed. So I just write the binary of 8 right here. Then similarly, I just calculate the binary of register number of S2. And since it is RS register, so I will place it right here at the place where the bits for RS are reserved. This 16 bit offset contains the binary of this decimal number 1002. So whatever the number written right here, we have to convert it into a 16 bit binary number and then place that 16 bit right here. I want to make a correction that I have said that load word and stored word are the only instructions which come under the I type instruction. But there are more instructions that also comes under I type instruction. For example, the instruction add immediate is also an I type instruction as well as branch not equal comes under the I type instruction. So basically all the conditional branch instructions also follow in I type instruction. So basically branch not equal and branch equal what actually does is 
first of all this is rs register this is rt register so what we do is we just subtract the value of rs register with the rt register and if the answer is zero then what we do in branch equal case we simply uh, jump onto the label when both the values are same and after subtracting both the values we get a uh, zero as a result then in case of branch equal we simply jump to the label in case of branch not equal we jump to the label whenever the result of this subtraction is not equal to zero so similarly what we write here is we write the opcode of branch not equal or branch equal okay so opcode of the command comes right here here comes the register number of rs register then here comes the register number of rt register then finally here comes the 16 bit offset and how to compute this 16 bit offset we compute this 16 bit offset by using the label so for example our label was pointing at the address named as 100 bytes so what we will do is we will convert 100 into words we have the label at the address of 100 so it means it is 100 bytes we convert 100 bytes into words because one word is having four bytes so it is 100 bytes is equal to 25 words so now what we will do is we will convert 25 into binary and then place that binary right here so in this way we compute 16 bit offset so friends if you understand the lecture do comment in the comment box and let me know because it motivates me to make more videos so I hope you understand the lecture, give this video a thumbs up, if you have any question do comment and subscribe to our channel Teach Me Technically. Thanks for watching friends.